The big question on everyone's mind, are the Grammys on or off? Plus, I'll tell you about Pepsi's new Super Bowl partnership. Welcome to GetTheDaily.com, I'm Andrea Renee, and it's time to look at what's going down on the music scene. Now, despite the looming clouds that might rain on the Grammys parade, otherwise known as the writer's strike, it seems the stars are preparing anyway. It was recently confirmed that SAG members Beyonce and Dave Grohl will perform at the annual music event. Dave will be with the Foo Fighters, of course. The Screen Actors Guild has already requested SAG musicians not attend the Grammys, so don't expect to see Justin Timberlake or 50 Cent. But despite the standing request, both camps say they are thrilled to be part of the show. Also look for a performance by John Legend during that show that airs on February 10th. Super Bowl is almost here, are you excited? And Pepsi is gearing up to make it a memorable one. It was already announced that pop superstar Justin Timberlake will be featured in one of the soft drinks ads, but now they've also announced the company will be giving away 100 million digital songs. That's crazy talk. This isn't the first time, of course, Pepsi has done this, if you remember. They had a similar campaign with Apple's iTunes back when it first became popular about four years ago. But with growing industry concern over Apple's control on profits from music files, Pepsi has decided to work with Amazon's MP3 download service. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how you get your hands on some of these free downloads, right? Well, you have to watch the Super Bowl, duh. I mean, come on, it's gonna be a blowout, right? Am I wrong? No, you know it's true. All right, in the concert news, rock group Paramore have announced they will be headlining a tour with their idols, Jimmy Eat World. Oh, isn't that nice? Two rock groups get together. The tour launches in March, though dates have yet to be released. Paramore singer Haley Williams said, if it all ends tomorrow, we will be happy knowing that we got a tour with the band that gave us a reason to play music. Wow, Jimmy Eat World, huh? Inspirational? Who knew? I mean, I like the middle too, but those kinds of words are usually reserved for groups like the Stones or the Beatles, right? Hey, to each their own. Congrats, I guess. Thanks for watching, everyone. You just heard the music news from GetTheDaily.com. I'm Andrea Renee, and I will see you next time.